The Empire of the Kelzen Nation is spreading out. We have two new vassals. We have the Laverian Hive, and we also have a vassal in the middle of an enemy territory. The Sa Sathon Organism, who are, who are now our vassal as well. So we now have a total of four vassals, which actually really helps us on the situation log. Um, as far as victory goes, we are very high up because we have a, we have a lot of subject empires, which really helps us. So welcome back everybody to uh, Stellaris and the Machine Age. We are slowly gathering our forces, getting stronger, and then we are going to be striking at the, the uh, uh, there is a archeological site here called the Kleptomaniac Rats, which we know what's gonna happen when that gets done. It, we know that it's going to spawn a huge dragon and we're going to have all sorts of fun problems that'll happen then. But until then, we're just going to kind of chill out. We're going to get our worlds upgraded as we can. Uh, we have no choice but to accept. They're going to go to war with us here soon, which is going to suck. But there's not much we can do about it. Let's see what we got going on here. Forge world. Um, let's go ahead and give... Generator World, one more Generator District. It's industrial World, one more Industrial Complex. Um, what kind of population do they have? They do have population. They got the Picklings and they got us. Um, let's go ahead and give them a... How happy are they? They're pretty happy there. They got an Otakin Monument. They got a... I could give them an alloy foundry as well. All right, we have somebody going into an astral rift. That's awesome. We also just got our society research done. We got the bioreactor unlocked. Uh, let's go ahead and get our naval cap up or... The Ute Astronomical Infer... In in interfer interfermeter. Um... Sensor range, wow. Max districts, non-artificial planets only. There we go, yeah, let's do that. Max districts, that'll give us more max districts on our planets, which will help out a lot. All right, this world here is a tech world. Let's give them another research lab. No, actually, you know what? Let's give them a research lab and an astral siphon. Uh, this is a generator world. Let's give them another generator and then give them another district. Scorched Bridge. Let's give them another district, and let's give them a, a let's give them an astral siphon. Scorch Kybera. That is an agro world. Let's get a, a couple agro districts built there, and give them another district. Uh, Scorched Hub. Let's give them another district, and give them another factory that they can deal with because that'll give us some more uh, consumer goods. And then we're going to have to look at the food. Yeah, our food is food is definitely dwindling. So we're going to have to look at that and make sure that we don't lose out on our food. Let's look back on our... So this world here... I could replace that with a... Generator District. Cause I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a free slot when I get that tech done. So we're we're gonna we're gonna do that. Let's look at any other worlds that we have done. Yeah. So this one here will be able to do the same thing with on Scorch Source. Uh, we're doing that right now. There. Any worlds we have maxed out, we can definitely. Okay. So we only have a couple worlds maxed out, so that's not too bad. Um, what is this? Establishing an embassy? Oh, of course. Yes, Al Altarian Nation, since we have been developing good relations with you. Yes, we will definitely have a embassy with you. The uh, main facility. And we have the envoy here with the Hazran. They are still at war. They're, on, they're, they're fighting two wars right now. Wow. And these guys are still fighting a war with the Hazaran. That's funny. We we have we have uh, we have uh, wars with two. We, we we are allied or trying to improve relations with two uh, two people that are at war with each other. 
That 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 always that always works though. It always it's always a good thing. Okay, do I need to move ships quickly there? Possibly. Our linguists have finished developing a new satisfying insult. We just need to find a target. Oh, I know a target. They're just right over here waiting for me. Uh, yeah, let's insult you guys again. So, who is it that rules your amusing little star nation today? What a quaint notion to vote someone into power. It will inevitably lead you to collapse, of course. Sending an insult will greatly reduce, reduce their opinion of us. But we get 50 influence, and we get the satisfying assault, insult, uh, uh... Uh, done. Uh, we have that ability. We have that, not ability, but we have that uh, modifier for another five years. With we get monthly unity, stability, and happiness. So we're very, we're very happy about doing that. And let's also look at upping our Dyson Swarm. We're gonna get that Dyson Swarm upgraded. We have enough. In, we had enough uh, unity to do it. They're gonna go to war with us again here soon. <laughs> our leaders just keep getting whacked because we because our because our friends just keep going to war with them. You know what? Hold on a second. We have a good raiding target. We're already in the middle of a raid. Oh, that makes me sad. I had such a, I had a great raiding target. The Emp the regime of Etrak needed a little raiding done on him. All right, build that hyper relay. Astral action is available. Officer, official scholar, uh, scholar served the empire for a hundred years. They retired to take care of loved ones. I can be down with that. Let's go ahead and get the game, gain the physics insight. Um, so did that leave a, did that leave a, where does that leave our leader? So officials were down by one. That leave one of our planets or sectors empty? No. Did that leave our leave our government empty? No. Okay, so we just had an extra official somewhere. All right, we'll just let that slide for right now. This rover on commanders, we'll let it slide. Yeah, the arc furnace needs an upgrade, but that's that's gonna take a second. It's gonna be a hot second. We got this arc furnace right here in that system. Aye, attention to all marks. Our warriors grow, bo grow bored and cause much trouble. Much fighting with each other, many dead. But we have solution. We send our craziest warriors to fight for Dwamox in exchange for credits. If you want best mercenaries in galaxy, hurry now before too late. Good to know. Senate's now in session. Security contractors. Every mercenary enclave gains 10% naval cap. Oh, sure. I'll support it, I guess. Why not? How are we doing there? Yeah, we've got good, we've got good, uh, good, um, diplomacy going on, so. So those were the, ooh, alien identify, alien entity identified. A tubular alien entity has entered orbit of fluid signature with no warning or explanation. It appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, gliding in complete silence. Where is it here? Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Ooh. Though it is yet to display any sign of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge our hails. Our military advisors warn it may pose a considerable threat. Our scientists however plead with instead we need to learn from this remarkable piece of technology. We can say we can study it. Let's study it. Situation log updated. Let's study it. The enigmatic gas guest is always a good one to study. Uh, is that guy doing anything? No, he is not. Oh. Do I just study it? Seven months. No, I don't want to start that over. That finishes in 17 months. 17 months and our species modification will be complete. Now we can, we can wait. We can wait. All right, you need to get back in here, and you need to build a hyper relay there. If a leader who leveled up, our overlord ruling from main facility is leveled up. Let's give him skirmisher two. 
Kalubun. Uh, wait, bear. Oh, bear. Ooh, bear and Victor. Bear and Victor Jardin. Imposing stature. Uh, this leader experience gain lifespans less. But he does ship weapons damage. Naval cap plus five. Max influence from power projection. Military ship build speed. Oh. Oh, yes, we want him. We're going to bring him in, and I think we're actually going to make him one of our one of our government leaders. Because this guy kind of sucks. He gives naval cap plus five. This guy gives us naval cap plus five. Plus, he gives us max influence from power projection plus two. And we can put him aboard... Let's just give him let's just give him the Let's just give him the little salvage fleet. There we go. He can just, he can cruise around on the salvage fleet. The salvage fleet is just uh the, the salvage fleet is doing a patrol route for us. It's patrolling our our area here, although Yeah, it's just gonna patrol that. That's fine. And this fleet here needs some upgrades. Oh wow, it's at 25k. 25k is our fleet is our Federation fleet now. That is nutty. Alright, we have no choice but to accept. Alright. Well, this is not going too bad. We got a brand new uh brand new leader there. Um, of course that does take our commander leaders up a bunch. We've got a lot of commanders right now. <laughs> we're, very, we're a very warlike race. All right, we have an astral rift event pending. There are no stars here, just no planetary bodies, only a diffuse light of mysterious origin reveals the massive object looming before us. Roughly rectangular in size, it is completely inert. There are no detectable propulsion systems or power signatures of any kind comparable in, a, in size to a small star base. It appears dead. For how long it's been floating in the secluded pocket dimension and where did it come from? Innumerable decorative glyphs and symbols have been intricately carved into its surface. We have ruled out any possibility of this being a natural phenomenon. Well, it looks like a coffin. Let's scan the entire perimeter. It looks like it looks like a a mummified bean or something. Doesn't it? I mean it sort it does to me anyway in that picture. You let me know in chat. You let me know down below in the comments what you think it looks like. Uh, what are we going to run out of? So our res oh, our minerals are full. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we, have, we had way too many minerals, boys and girls. Way too many minerals. That's okay, though. Um, we're going to mo move this up. Gonna move that up and we're going to sell those every month. Oh, that we don't need to have as high. Did not notice that. Oh, we got a favor. Main facility. Wait, what's all this stuff? Okay, we got a favor with main facility. All right, what 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 happened here? Oh, they can't they can't. Uh... Did they close our borders to us? I think they did. I think they have their borders closed to us. So that ship there, that ship there can't do anything. Yeah, that one's there. Um, yeah. Rising unemployment on main facility increased in benefits again. Oh, they're returning. Okay, so they they had to they had to get out of there. Technology secured. All right, we got new technology. That would be another half an a available envoy. So we got a full envoy now, 
and max districts and non-artificial planets only that is excellent we're gonna pause for a second let's look and see what we got here uh we got eight impassable mountains we are taking that naval capacity from soldier jobs though oh yeah that could really help us out oh that would take 10 months this would take 24 months there's no guarantee we're gonna get either of those again because those are both just regular ones um i want them both uh let's go let's go with the tile blockers i feel getting our planets unblocked is going to be great our rivalry missing in action all right let's look at let's look at these planets here now so our main capital I thought that oh that was supposed to give us max districts oh that gave us another district we can build uh yeah let's do uh let's do a extra let's do an extra build there let's do um an extra yeah max districts these are the districts so that's that's what it was giving us uh let's do a let's do another uh generator district there actually you know you know no 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 let's do another industrial district that will give us more uh consumer goods scorched axis we now have two more districts we can put out here let's do another uh let's do another one of those and let's do a one of those scorched nucleus has two more districts available now let's go ahead and give them two more uh agriculture or one agriculture and one no let's just do two agriculture they are an agro world after all they got two districts available here let's go ahead and give them another one of those and yeah, let's give them a forge and then this world here let's give them a stronghold and then let's give them another district gonna kind of work our way down here so these guys have another district is available too well all of them have another district that really helped on main facility though because we needed that extra district there all right We'll just do that and leave it okay go, go these these gung uh the gug gud again hive needs to stop pissing off the protectors you guys need to get off the world of rochelle you just need to leave that world alone there's no need for you to be there special project complete you've completed the modifications to kill zen species oh that's awesome that is awesome possum okay so the kelzon species has now been has now been uh taken care of situation log updated let's research the enigmatic guest first and then we'll then we'll do the uh then we'll do the species modification for them all right so we now are all uh super conductive we uh 15 percent extra from that our project to modify them Wait a second. Okay. No choice to fix. Uh, has failed. Oh, because we didn't do it right away. Never mind. We didn't do it right away. It's fine. It's it's going to be okay. Uh, peace was... Oh. The Hazaran and the Meridian Entity have made peace with each other. Excellent. Oh, can we do... Can we... Can we, uh, can we do anything with them? no not really not with them oh we do have another we do have another uh person waiting to be assigned can't do anything with them oh actually we need to unpause here uh these guys here they're pathetic in material and but they're superior in that they're pathetic they're superior in tech but they're pathetic to us otherwise Pathetic equivalent and equivalent. Pathetic equivalent, uh, pathetic. Uh, 
All right, I'm. This guy's waiting to be assigned. I think. I think I'm actually going to assign them. I know it's going to be weird, but I'm actually going to try to improve relations with these guys. Oh wait, did I take away? Oh, I took away the guy from the Altelian Nation. I wanted to take away the guy from uh, the Sathan organism. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, this guy here. There we go. Modify species. Yeah, that that failed. I know. That's that's fine. I'm I'm busy doing other things. We have other things we need to be doing. We're getting the enigmatic guests uh, looked at. We got three months till that'll be done. Our technologies are 13, 16, and we're doing the enigmatic guess. We're still trying to get this uh, engineering one done, but we haven't done that yet. The mineral entity, we got a, a nice thing with. At least an astral. Uh, we have an astral action. Attention. If you need others to fight on your battles, uh, know that we're here. Okay. Good to know. We got 628. I think I'm going to save up 800 and get the next astral siphon upgrade. Yeah, we're going to do that. Enigmatic Cache. Despite extensive research, the Enigmatic Cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery. Complete. Though it is definitely not organic in nature, it is not entirely a machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with gathering, storing, and encoding data. Its surface is covered with hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. So we got some engineering research uh, done there. Uh, let's go ahead... Yeah, we got 34 months till we get cruisers. I want to get the cruisers going. So we're gonna we're going to uh and that'll give us 10 fleet command limit as well. So we're gonna we're gonna let that we're gonna let that go for right now. Leader level up, our scientist who is exploring the lone object in Utan. He has uh leader lifespan plus 10 years. Let's give him plus 20 years. We have an astral event pending. We have completed a full uh, full orbit around the object. It is composed of two halves welded shut. The seal is heavily corroded in some locations, unexpected given the emptiness of the surrounding atmosphere. This indicates that the source of the corrosion must be coming from inside the object itself. The corrosion is so severe in some places, cracks have appeared, large enough for one of our drones to enter. Alternatively, we are carrying enough explosives to crack the seal. We're gonna take the safe, we're gonna just send the drone through. We're just gonna send the drone through. That's all. That's all we're gonna do. Uh, we actually had a now our relics. We only we have one K. We could discover an Elgate Insight. Not a bad idea to do. And uh, we could also now we almost are there. There we go. We got the astral. We basically uh, took the astral threads. We are the astral siphon. So now these worlds that we have astral siphons on, the ones that we have astral siphons on, like this one, we're going to put an astral siphon there. We can now upgrade these astral siphons. They are going to consume. Let's see, what do they take now? So it's going to cost more upkeep as far as energy goes, but it's going to give us more and, and consumer goods. So it's going to cost more consumer goods and more upkeep energy-wise, but it's going to give us more science as well. More physics, engineering, social, and... Yeah, definitely. I'm just gonna upgrade all of these. It's gonna cost us. We're gonna be, we're gonna be suffering a little bit, but that's okay. I actually have a bioreactor available now, don't I? Energy credits from farmers plus two. Yeah, that would go great on farming worlds like uh, Frozen Cur No, not Frozen Kernel. Like this world here. If I replace that alloy foundry with a bioreactor. 
It'll give us less food, but energy credits from farmers will be plus two. So it's going to cost us eight food, and we're getting... We're, we, you notice we only have seven food coming in right now. We've been using up a lot of our food, so we need to, we need to get another world going with the agriculture. We could do it at the hydroponics farm. Yeah, we need to get the hydroponics farms going on this world. Because those are going to give us 31 food per, per job that they have. Yeah, we got lots of farmers that we can put on here. We got crime on this planet, too. That makes me sad. I have no choice but to accept. Kind of sucks, but we don't have any choice but to accept at this point. So yeah, now we're just slowly... We are in the year 2302 now, which is pretty cool. Can't believe our... Uh, our fleet of ships from the Stellar Concord is now at... 36,000. I mean, we might as well just move them up there. Technology secured. Alright, we just got the x-ray lasers unlocked. That's beautiful. Let's, uh... Let's get all of our fleets upgraded with x-ray lasers. And we can unlock the antimatter reactor now if we want to. Although chemical plants would give us uh, access to volatile moats, which is not bad. Jump drive travel would still take us 108 months. Research alternatives is not a bad one either. Although we have a lot of different alternatives right now that we can't even take. That's going to take 46 months. Let's get the antimatter reactor going. That's going to help us out. Okay, so we got that all done. Technology secured. Let's grab 500 of those. Oh, look at that. We got 146 coming in now. We, we just got tile blockers unlocked. We got the... Uh, we have eight impassable mountains we can now break down. That's amazing. Ecolo ecological ad adaptation. Allows us to terraform inhabited planets. That'd be nice. Naval cap is probably not a bad one to go with. Yeah, let's go with the naval cap. Because we're going to need that. Once once this is done, we're going to need more naval cap. We got a favor with the Hazarian Council. Oh yeah, I, was buy I bought some of those. Build a hyper relay there. And then we need to look at all of our systems again. And we need to see who has... Impassable mountains that we can take out. There's one there. And there's two here. Oh, I need more monies. There's one there. Yeah, we had a lot of impassable mountains on our planets. So it's nice that we're able to get those cleared out. Active volcano, arche archaeological site. There's an impassable mountain there. Two impassable mountains there. Oh, we ran out of stuff again. Let's sell off uh, 2,500. And we'll get rid of that impassable mountain. That impassable mountain. Oh, this feels so good to get rid of these. We can actually upgrade that. And we can buy that. There we go. We are making minerals super cheap to buy because right now we're tanking the mineral economy. We're selling we're selling a hundred a month, so we're ta we're tanking the, the the mineral economy right now. So actually, I think I'm gonna cancel that, and I think I will cancel that, 
and cancel that and see where we sit this next month. So I, th I think we're actually almost in a good spot now. We'll be losing energy soon, but I'm just curious to see what's going to happen here. Okay, so it went negative 123. So we do need to be selling some of these. Oops. All right, do need to be selling some of those. Um, research uh, broken with the Gungan Hive and them. Okay. Relic activation is now available. Do I want to do relic activation or do I want to save up to get another tradition in 66 months? Or do I want to upgrade my Arc Furnace? Yeah, we'll upgrade the Arc Furnace. Oh, that's what must have happened. My my Dyson Sphere uh, came uh, came complete. Vessels upgraded. All right, research agreement broken. Okay, we're back in the positive on on uh, monies now, which is good. Let's buy let's buy like five thousand minerals just because we can. We have no choice but to accept again. Which sucks, but that's just the way life goes. Um, let's go ahead and move this guy up here and build a hyper relay. You're already building one there, and then I'm gonna have you build a hyper relay up there. Can you build a mega structure in there? Can he build? Can I build another Dyson sphere? I don't know if I can. Oh, this is, I already have an Arc Furnace here. Vessels upgraded. That's one of my Arc Furnace uh, regions. Vessels upgraded. Oh, that's the one, that's the one in the Landine system. That one's already in the Landine system. Cleared. Resolution was passed, okay. What's coming up next? Collective Waste Management. Sure, I'll support that one. And I'll support that one, too. Ready to shield, I'll support that one as well. Regulated growth, I'll support that one. Guardian Angel Act, nah, I don't like that one. Let's see, is there any others I'm not? Okay, the Pest Control... I'll support that one. I don't like the I don't like the Tanaki. We've had we've had bad experiences with the Tanaki, so I don't like them very much. All right, well, boys and girls, what the hell? Oh crap! They declared war on us again. Oh my god. Okay, we'll set our war goal, and then we'll surrender, and they'll kill our leader. The worst possible outcome. They assassinate our overlord. And overlord actuator dies. And... Good lord. Good god, man! <laughs> good god, man! Alright, um, we don't have anybody here. Let's just hire a... A new scientist to just go in there and do his thing. We have an idle leader now. I think it's that scientist that's the idle leader. Yeah, he is. What uh, what world do we have? It has a lot of science on it. Okay, Cryomatrix already has a person on it. All right, I'm going to have him governor from there. He can assist with research a little bit. All right, so, yeah, we... We defeated, we, uh, yeah, we... Yeah, it reduces our empire influence and pop happiness for 10 years. 
I don't have any claims on your stuff, dude. I my my ally is 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 holding on to this world, which just pisses me off. I wish I could tell him to stop. Wish I could tell him to stop it. Um, actually, one thing we could possibly do with the Gungden Hive is we could negotiate our agreement with them. Uh, subject conflicts none. I'm going to lower a little bit of our basic stuff from them. And the research from them. I'm actually going to do that. I'm not going to get involved in any of their crap. I'm just going to I'm just going to stop sucking resources out of them. Can I take a holding? I can take a holding as well. Proceed. Scum and villainy on Tor Bridge. Oh, that's not good. Uh, they need a precinct house here pretty badly. And upgrade that for him, too. We have an astral event pending. Our drone has transmitted a report from inside the object. Unfortunately, most of the compartments within are obscured by a thick cloud of carbon dust and have proven difficult to maneuver around. Initial analysis has revealed a high amount of astral fabric interwoven with the carbon particles. It should be possible to harvest the material uh, should we take the time to do it. Visible through the further cracks deep within the structure, we see signs of an inner chamber. Uh, engaged destructive exploration. Yeah, we're going to blow it. We're going to blow it. All right, boys and girls. Well, we lost our leader again. Our leader died again. And we now have a new heir again, who is now idle again. And he's a scientist with research speed. Yeah, our, 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 <laughs> our leaders keep dying over and over again. At least he's got the research speed, additional trader, uh, uh, leader trade options. Uh, we do have we do have an idle leader though, so we're gonna have to find a a world for them to uh, go on to that has some science going on on it. Clear blocker speed. I can just put him here. There we go. We'll have we'll have him just go on that planet there. Why not? Let's view this agreement. We got our aid agency going again. Let's see what that does at the end of this month on, on our economy. Okay, it killed our food and it killed our energy credits. So we were getting a lot of stuff from them. But that's okay. We, we'll, we'll survive. We will survive. We will survive, boys and girls. We'll figure it out and we'll move forward. Yeah, we were getting a lot of resources from the G the Gudgen Hive, but at the same time, they were drawing us into war all the time. So we'll see. We'll see if this. We'll see if this new agreement we have with them allows us to have any advantages. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Um, I could do that. So that would give me some food and stuff. I could get rid of the holding. I go all conflicts with them. Yeah, we'll do that. Maybe maybe that'll help get us some of our credits and stuff back. Oh jeez. We'll see if they we'll see if they respond favorably to that. Blocker cleared. We negotiated that. Okay, that agreement's gone through. We're gonna get 45% there. All right, so that should help us at the end of this month. Okay, helped a little bit, not a lot. Vote for Federation Law. Active Law, Diplomatic Succession. Vote for Economic Succession, no. Why do you want Economic Succession, my friend? Uh, do you think that that's the one that you should take? Because that, that that might be the one that you can, you can win, maybe. Maybe, maybe that's the one that you think you can win, but that's not the one that you're going to get. All right, boys and girls. Well, we're going to leave it off here. We got some uh, stuff to figure out with our food, our energy, um, our, our, our agreements here with the Gugden Hive. We can't do anything with them again for another, uh, 
for another 57 months. So we can't do anything with them for another 57 months, but, uh, you know, at some point we can do something with them. We can probably negotiate an agreement with these guys and get that there. Give them unified sensors. That's not going to give us a lot, not like it did with the Gungden Hive, but we may need to go back and get the Gungden Hive. Uh, we have no choice but to accept. Okay, so it's going to draw us into the war anyway. It looks like it's going to draw us into the war anyway. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, that sucks so bad. We'll see if what that does. Okay, so that gave us that that got us a little bit out of the hole. It's not bad. It's not too bad. It got us a little out of the hole. Um How about we do the same thing down here? And um What if we give them a little bit of our research? No, I don't want to give them research. A little bit of strategic? Nah. We're going to do that too. We're going to be, we're basically going to be just sucking resources from everybody. All right. This should change this. It's negative 265, 141. All right. That's, that's decent. I can handle that. It's going to, it is, it is going to make our vassals a little less excited to be with us but it looks like we're at 100 percent looks like they are going down a little bit i may need to improve relations with them um yeah we're gonna try to improve relations with them all right well boys and girls we are gonna wrap it up here we're over we're over the 40 minute mark so this one's gone a long time but there's just so much to do I will see you next time for more Stellaris in the Machine Age. Things are going pretty decent. We're getting our stuff figured out here, um, and uh, you know we'll we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes here soon. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.